into the promises of God that means we are sensitive to his every direction we will be not late so that we may have where he wants us when he wants us and how he wants us we are good stewards of our time and resources there put a praise on it continue to thank and praise God hallelujah you may take your seats in this atmosphere quickly our announcements for this morning are as follows in the month of April uh, we have our Bible studies this series is our fresh start our discipleship program I'm sorry our discipleship series which will now be uh, embedded into our ministry is something that's been on the heart of our leaders to kind of take us back uh, to the beginning. So we're going to have fresh starts every Tuesday night from May 16th to, I'm sorry, April 16th to May 28th. That is for the entire body. So our um, adults, our youth, uh, both City Kids and EYC will all be following the same context which is great because parents, you can continue the discussion with your children when you get home. Wonderful. Um, on this week, I believe, yeah, this week, April 17th through the 19th, our campus will be hosting the Dubai Jurisdiction AIM Conference. Amen? Amen? Our very own Apostle Bellinger, who serves as the jurisdictional uh, AIM chairperson for Dubai, will be opening that conference this Wednesday night. So we are asking that everybody, man, somebody, everybody, so every, so these seats are already taken because you guys are going to be back, right? Amen? Amen? Because we're going to support our pastor. Amen? 
Okay, so wonderful. Ushers, we ask that you be in place. Uh, media team, parking lot attendants. Uh, we are hosting. So that means when someone comes into your house, you are a great host. Amen. Um, that is, again, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 7.30, okay. Um, and on Wednesday, April 24th at 7 p.m., uh, we will have imparting the vision. So we're asking for all new members and members who've not yet completing the five-star course experience, please join us on Wednesday at 7. Those have been your announcements. As we prepare for our offering, praise team, y'all can come back up because then we're going to move and allow our pastor to impart. We are doing our vision Campaign for the van. Has everyone received one of your campaign cards? Everybody got one? We've all pledged. If you have not gotten one, please see our welcome center because they will be out front. We're asking that you do something. Our pastor says, do not let your name go unaccounted for. So even if you can commit $2 a month, we appreciate it. Every little bit is appreciated. And we know that if you give from your heart, God will give back to you. On your screens now, you will see the ways to give. Those ways are as follows. You can give by texting the amount to 73256. You can give online. And members, we always ask that you give on Realm. It will help the finance team in the back. Amen? When you're ready to give. I'm going to pray over the offering. Bless us in song. Father, we thank you for the gifts that are being prepared. We thank you for the hearts of the givers. God, I ask right now that you meet the need of everyone here in the sanctuary. Father, you know their circumstances. You know their comings and their goings. And so as we are cheerful givers, God, we ask that you bless the seed that we are planting. We ask that right now, God, that you use it for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done.
play that line one more time because quite clearly we didn't get the affirmation after that so let's try that one more time let's try that one more time just want to praise just want to somebody say I'm grateful for his for his blessing upon my life tell him I'm grateful for all he's done for me look at somebody that act like they want to have a little church and tell them God's been too good to me you know he's been good tell him because I can feel him in my hands I can feel him in my feet I can feel him all over me I feel him he's been so good so good to me He's been so good to me. Tell somebody he's been real good. Y'all, y'all, y'all didn't talk to the right person because if he if he's been real good like that, they should have responded a little better. Tell him he's been real good. Tell him he's been real, real, real good, real good. Look across the aisle and tell him he's been real good. He's been real, 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 real good. I just praise him because he's good. May not have all the money that I want, but I praise him because he's good. My body still might be in pain, but he's good. My mind might be all over the place, but he's good. Tell somebody he's been real, real good. I thank him because it's just another day that the Lord well I guess it's just me 
because he has kept me from all evil with my mind stayed on Jesus it's just another day that the Lord has kept me I ain't trying to prom you because he folk folk that didn't come into glory you ain't gonna catch this but I'm trying to find the folk that understand that all week long it's been hell but he has kept me you wanted to cuss some folk out you wanted to put some hands on some people you wanted to say some things to some folk from all evil with my mind stayed on Jesus anybody grateful it's just another day that the Lord it's just another day that the Lord it's just another day that the Lord has kept me I'm grateful I'm grateful I'm grateful maybe y'all don't know that I'm saying I know it was the blood I know it was the blood I know it was the blood that saved me one day when I was lost Jesus died on the cross and I know it was the blood for for me I thank you for the blood cause it reaches to the highest mountain and and it flows to the lowest valley oh yeah oh the blood blood that gives me my strength from day to day it will never lose it will never It's in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the So hallelujah, thine of glory, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, thine of glory, revive us.
us, revive us. Oh, Satan, get thee behind, cause victory today is mine, I said joy is mine, joy is mine, joy today is mine, oh, I told Satan, Get thee behind Today is Cause she's I'll never forget What you done for me She's I'll never forget you set me free Jesus I'll never forget how you brought me out Jesus I'll never forget no never never love the songs that kept me when I didn't want to be kept then it would say he's sweet I know he's sweet Strong winds may blow. Strong winds may blow. But tell somebody, and I'll tell the world. I'll tell. Wherever I go, wherever I go. And I have found a savior. I know storm clouds may rise and strong winds they may blow but I'll tell the world wherever I go that I've found a savior and he's sweet I know <laughs> he's sweet I know He's sweet, I know. Shando Kustaya, thank you, Jesus. All right, we go. Mark chapter five. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hey. All right, I'm trying to move, trying to move. Shando Kustaya. Okay. Mark chapter five. Shaya da da ba so.
We gonna move. We gotta move. We gotta move. But I, I feel glory. I feel glory. I feel glory. I feel your glory. I feel your glory. Just touch some. Ask, ask, look at somebody. Can you feel him? Can you feel him? Can you, can you feel him? Can you feel him? Can you feel him? He's good. All right. We'll get to this word. Mark chapter 5. We'll get to this word. Mark chapter 5. We're going to begin at verse 25. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. <laughs> we bless you. <laughs> All right. Mark chapter five, verse twenty five. And it reads as this, Mark chapter 5, verse 25. And there was a woman who had a flow or an issue of blood for 12 years. And, when, and who had suffered much under many physicians, had spent all that she had and was not better, but rather grew worse. We're going down to 34 as well. Keep on moving. She had heard the report about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if I touch his garment, I shall be made whole or well. And immediately the hemorrhage ceased and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone forth from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And the disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what she had been, had been done to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well or whole. Now go in peace and be healed of your disease. The Kandoshtaya. Father, thank you right now that in this moments that you've given to me that you will now articulate yourself through me. That they will hear you and not me. That you be glorified in this place. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, shout hallelujah. I want to talk about today. I want to talk to you. We can continue. I want to talk about activate your faith. Activate your faith. Somebody that hear me, shout it back to me. Touch yourself and say, activate your faith. Now, this is, in, this is going to be a very good time today because I love it. I'm excited. I could have started preaching at 9 o'clock for real because that's how excited I am about this word because I feel that the Lord is about to bring some clarity and some revelation into your life that's going to cause you now to be better than you ever thought. This is the year of manifestation. I'm going to say it again for anyone that will catch it. This is the year of manifestation. But you will not always get everything that you want in the time that you think that you're going to get it. 
because you need to understand there are some principles that happens. There are some things that will show up in your life to make you question whether or not what God is about to do for you is going to cause things to happen. So in this season of your life, the most difficult season of your life is the most breakthrough season of your life. I'll say it again for those that are catching it. The most difficult season of your life is the greatest breakthrough season of your life. Tell somebody, get ready to break through. Because you got to understand in this season, and right in between your direction and your destiny is distractions. And you got to be careful because some stuff that you're going through right now is just an illusion. It ain't even real. Okay, I, I'm hope I wish somebody would catch this for real. Some stuff that you're dealing with right now, it ain't even real. It's just an illusion because it's trying to distract you from what God is trying to place in your life. But I wish five people that believe would shout, it ain't going to happen on my watch. This is the greatest opportunity and hour that you are living in. The greatest time that God has given to you to do some things that you never thought that you would do. And the only way that you're going to do it is that you're going to have to trust and you're going to have to move and you're going to have to be. Trust, move, be. Trust, move, be. Trust God, move when he says and be what he called you to be no matter what the circumstances or the situations look like because everything is not going to be conducive to what you want. Every, every I is not going to be crossed. I mean, I dotted and every T is not going to be crossed. Some things are going to seem to be out of place, but you got to know how to put them in place. Okay, he's not going to give you the building that's already ready made. He's not going to give you the, the stuff that's already put together. You got to go and get the directions and the instructions and know how to put it together for yourself. I'm, okay, or maybe I'm just talking to myself because we, we got this. We got this mindset that when God tells us it's going to happen, that it's going to already be put together. No, the box shows you how it's supposed to look. But inside of the box is all the pieces. And you got to know how to read the instruction manual to make what's inside the box look like what's on the box. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just talking to myself again. Because y'all looking for God to already have it done, already looking a certain way. And God says, no, I'm not going to make it look any kind of way. I'm going to let it be messed up. I'm going to let it look crazy. I'm going to let it look stupid. I'm going to let it look all out of order. And now I need you now. Can these bones live? Okay, okay. Uh, you got to prophesy to the stuff. And when you prophesy, watch stuff start connecting together the way it's supposed to be. It ain't going to be out of order, but it will not come together until you activate your faith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. You got to activate something. You got to do something in this season, in this time. Watch this, that you have never done before. You got to operate into places that you've never been. You got to trust some places that you never trust. And you got to be some things you've never been. Yeah. Some of y'all ain't never been this holy. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. That's okay. I'm I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Some of y'all ain't never lived this long. This this good this long. You ain't never studied the Bible this much. You ain't never prayed this much. You ain't never been to church this much. It's because the God's trying to show you that I'm taking you to another level, and it's requiring that you do something different. Somebody shout! I gotta be different because if I'm not gonna be different, I'm gonna look like everybody else. And God says I made you different. You are a royal your priesthood a chosen generation and a peculiar people tell somebody if I look like it I might be a knockoff every Louis Vuitton uh, 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 purse ain't really a Louis Vuitton every Gucci purse ain't a Gucci purse you got to know how to show. You got to know how to know the difference between the real and the knockoff. Are you a knockoff or are you the real thing? Because let me help you understand something. Knockoffs can't handle the pressure. Knockoffs can't handle the stuff. But when you are real, you can handle the pressure. You can handle what goes on. And watch this. When you're the real thing, not everybody can fix you. 
Oh my God, y'all ain't gonna talk to me today. Ah, I understand. Listen, I, 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 I have, I have two bottles of Louis Vuitton's uh, cologne that I love. And, 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 and so, watch this. And so, their, their glass is a lot different. <laughs> their glass is a lot different because I dropped the bottle one day. And I said, oh God, I thought I broke the bottle. But, uh, but when I broke, when I picked up the bottle, the bottle didn't break. Because the glass, watch this, uh, was holding something that was so powerful and so good uh, that they knew uh, that just in case it fell, we we gotta encase it in something that will make sure go grab my bottle off my thing right fast he said you gotta make sure that it's encased so that when it drops it does not break god said i have encased you in something that now when you fall you are still strong enough to handle the fall This, this is listen this is my bottle but see you gotta understand because this is not the only thing you gotta open it up and inside of it is the bottle but watch this watch this they so good that they will put my initials on the bottle y'all ain't gonna preach with me just in case i lose it it got my name on it oh i can't hear nobody some stuff you lost but the truth of the matter is it still got your name on it so it gotta come back in your possession tell somebody it got my name on it you can use it but it ain't yours you can hold on to it, but it ain't yours. But when I find out it belongs to me, I can come get it back from you. Devil, my joy got my name on it. Devil, my peace got my name on it. Devil, my love got my name on it. And I'm coming back for my... Uh, uh, coming back for my stuff. Tell somebody I'm getting it all back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let me go and get into this text. So, because I've been ready to take, I've been ready to preach this text since Monday night. God have mercy. This text is interesting, Apostle, because it opens up in calamity. It doesn't open up. One sunshiny day, while we were strolling along the flowery beds of ease, the soft breeze off the North Mountain. <laughs> ain't high, bro. It didn't start like that. It didn't start pretty. It started, and there was a woman with a problem. She had a problem. Well, watch this. So I had to look at this apostle. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing that got me, bro. This problem wasn't always with her. This problem was not something that she was born with and now just had to live with. This problem is not something that she just understood this is a part of my life. No, her life was good. She had a good life. She was walking around, happy-go-lucky, just singing a song. I'm going along, you know, just doing her thing, right? And all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, here comes an issue. Oh, God, have mercy. <laughs> Is there anybody in here that you just been going along? You thought everything was wonderful? Everything was hunky-dory? And then all of a sudden, boom, has an issue. And not only is the issue there, but it ain't wanting to go away. It ain't trying to leave. It ain't trying to go no place. It's trying to stay right there. For one year, Lord, I could have dealt with this. I'm good for one year. Two years might have been all right. Three years, I might have been scratching my head. But now in 12 years of this, 
Now, God, you're really, you're really messing with me. You're really messing with my emotions. You're really messing with my psyche. You're really messing with my thought process because this was not my life. I can't hear nobody. I didn't ask for this. I wasn't looking for this. This was not on my radar. It ain't in my family gene. It ain't in my psyche. And all of a sudden now, you put something on me that I can't get rid of. I don't understand. This woman is walking around good. Probably been a business owner. I don't know. Probably would have had good money because the Bible says she, obviously she should go to the physicians so she had to have some money. So she had to have something. So she had good money because she's going to the physicians. But even the physicians are scratching their head. Like you back again? Nah, try this. Okay. Try this. Okay. Try this. Okay. Try this. Okay. Now they scratch their leg. No, what? I done gave you everything. It ain't nothing working. Has anybody ever been to a place where you done tried everything? And ain't nothing working? And you didn't go to anybody. You went to the ones that were specialized in this matter that could help you and still nothing changed. Can I put a pin right there for a minute? God says to tell you the reason why I did not let it get the victory or it did not heal you is because you would have never gave me the glory. You would have played. You would have said it was the doctor. It was the medicine. It was the bill. It was the loan or whatever. And God says I'm letting nothing get the glory out of your life that's why I ain't letting it work now correct me if I'm wrong ladies in this place every one of y'all go through this monthly so it's not like it's unusual. Also, y'all help me check, check it out. So it's not like this is not a case that they have never seen before. So the doctors probably looked and said, oh yeah, we know what's going on. Here you go. Take these, take these pills for seven days. You will be all right. So they come back on the eighth day and it still ain't gone. And he said, okay, well, you know what? We had somebody else that happened to. Don't worry. So we figured that. We tried this, but it didn't work. So we're going to use this right here. See, they already have what they think are the answers to your situation because they done dealt with your situation. But the problem is they never dealt with you. Oh God have mercy. I'm trying, I'm trying to go somewhere with somebody. Because see, you ain't you ain't Mary down the street. <laughs> you you ain't Johnny May on the corner. You ain't Mary, you ain't you ain't Anne on the side. You are something different. And see what they would use for other people. God said, I'm not letting it be used for you because you ain't like other people. That's why I'm pulling you out from around them and I'm causing you now to walk the way I want you to walk because what they would do is not what I need you to do. Uh, tell somebody he got a plan for my life and it ain't like nobody else's. Okay. Oh my. 12 years. Twelve years, this woman is dealing, watch this, not just with a bodily issue, but is now messing with her, her psyche. It's messing with her energy. It's messing with her ability to move about. Because y'all know how it is. 
Just one couple of days have us sometimes lethargic. Just a couple of days has us sometimes not being able to move. Y'all, I thought the women was going to preach with me on this right here. Just a couple of days made me want to really scratch some eyes out. But now she ain't dealing with just three days. She ain't dealing with just 12 weeks. And she ain't dealing with 12 months. She's dealing with this for 12 years and still got the attitude if I can touch. Y'all didn't catch it. Wow, God said, I'm wondering if I can put so much pressure on you that your attitude will still be if I can touch. Twelve years, ladies. Cole, you no, know, she probably won't mind me sharing, but she dealt with endometriosis. And so there were times that literally she couldn't get out of bed. There were times when she went to work that her boss would find her in a fetal position underneath the desk because the pain was so excruciating. That only lasted for a couple of days. Here it is. Watch this. You know, after three, four, five days, it's gone. I'm, I know. I'm going somewhere, y'all. But can you imagine waking up every day knowing it ain't changed? God have mercy. Y'all. I still got to function knowing it ain't changed. I still got to go forth my daily occupation knowing it hasn't changed. I still got to smile at folk knowing it hasn't changed. I still got to love people knowing it hasn't changed. I still got to give an encouraging word knowing it hasn't changed. I still got to pray for you. my situation hasn't changed twelve years of waking up and knowing that everybody knows my problem As she walking by, she she got this going on. She got that going on. Look at her. She can barely make it. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. How she just struggling every day. Everybody knows your problem. And you can't do nothing about it. Oh, I got a problem that I can't even fix. Talking to anybody that got a problem that you can't even fix. Ain't nothing you can do because everything you tried failed. Everything you attempted failed. Everything you pursued failed. Listen to the text. God have mercy. The text comes in and says she deals with this for 12 
long years. Oh, they catch it, y'all. Y'all, y'all. He, he didn't say 12 years. He said 12 long years. Look at somebody and say, one day feel long to me. 12 long years. But this is the thing, Dr. Kathy, that blesses my life. That they tell me, and I got, a, I got some nurses back here. Probably what? You can lose all your blood in how long? How long can she lose it? How long it take for the blood to go out? Yeah. A few minutes. Complete blood loss can be 30 minutes, maybe to an hour, let's just say. Complete blood loss. Okay, y'all. Oh, God have mercy. Oh, God have mercy. I want to dance right now. How in the world for 12 years you went with this and still alive? Y'all, y'all, come on, y'all. Come on. How is it that your body is producing that much blood as you lose it? How is it your body can't produce blood that fast? But look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, even in this, God performs a miracle. Y'all ain't catching it. Watch this. You ain't dead yet. It's a miracle. You ain't blow your brains out yet. It's a miracle. You ain't lost your mind. It's a miracle. You ain't in a crazy house. It's a miracle. You ain't out somewhere on a corner. It's a miracle. Because other folk died in what you're going through. Other folk didn't make it. How in the world, y'all? scratching my head how you supernaturally produce this much blood for her to lose it she should have been dead day one she should have been gone because all the blood has been being depleted out of her body. There is no intermission. There ain't no time out. There ain't no break in this. This ain't, I'm going to give you 15 minutes for the body to recoup itself. This not, I'm going to give you a day that you can get something back. Every day you're going through the same rigmarole and the same mess for 12 long years. Everything you're doing seems like it's taken away from you. Seems like it's snatching from you. Seems like it's took moving for everything from you. But somehow, somewhere, someplace in this, you still find the tenacity to keep moving. And they'll find the tenacity to keep going and to keep doing and to keep striving. Somewhere in this, somehow, God gives you supernatural strength and ability to get your foot out the bed this morning and get up this morning. Somehow, God gave you supernatural grace that your mind was still intact with everything that was running through your mind that should have killed you. It's so amazing to me how God will still allow me to go through but prove me to be a miracle at the same time. I'm struggling but a miracle as well. Because now he says to her or she says she hears she hears something. Watch this. She hears something she never heard. 
Everybody said, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Go to the physician. <laughs> go to the place. Go here. But there's only one person that said, Jesus. <laughs> ah, God have mercy. You got to get the folk out your ear that's trying to get you to do natural things for your healing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everybody was saying, child, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Girl, I wouldn't go there if that was you. Girl, I wouldn't handle that if I was you. Child, this would not be me. Girl, if I was you, boy, if this I was you. Everybody's saying that. But all God had was one person to walk by, and she wasn't even talking to her. He wasn't even talking to her. He was talking to the friend that was going by. Hey, bro, hey, sis, you heard Jesus was coming into town? And watch this. You got to be so keen in your problem that you can hear when God shows up. Oh God, am I talking to anybody? You gotta be so much. You gotta be so in tune with Him and not with your situation, because some circumstances gonna make you not want to hear. The circumstances gonna make you want to quit. But you gotta be so in tune in this season that you hear God when He's about to show up. Touch somebody for the first time and say, "Neighbor, you gotta hear Him when He shows up. He's coming, but you ain't gonna know when. You gotta be sensitive in the spirit." To know when he shows up he ain't gonna announce himself somebody else gonna announce him but you gotta hear what the spirit is saying to the church i wish i had somebody in here that has a discerning spirit to hear that jesus is coming by oh now i got listen to what it says because this is no, he says, she said, she looks and she said, okay, uh -huh. he's coming by. 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 He ain't stopping. He coming by. Because he ain't stopping. Because watch this. Your issue ain't his problem. Oh. Yeah. Ah. I know that just hurt somebody's feelings right there because you thought he stopped because of you. No, baby, he just came by. Yeah, God have mercy. He ain't stopping because you crying. He ain't stopping because you hurting. He ain't stopping because you in pain. He coming by. Now the question is what you going to do now when he come by. Okay, y'all. Oh, God, have mercy. Okay, let me get to my little text. Y'all y'all ready for me to quit? <laughs> listen, listen what happens. She spent everything she had. Watch this. Tell somebody, I have nothing left to give. I have given everything I know to give. I done gave everything. I done tried to love people right. I done tried to show up to church every Sunday. I tried to be faithful in Bible study. I tried to read my word. I tried to pray. I tried to do everything I know to do. At this point, I don't know what else to do other than go in the corner, get me a blunt and some cognac and just smoke and drink myself until y'all ain't gonna preach to me. I just don't know what else to do because I done did everything I thought to do. Y'all told me to pray. Y'all told me to believe. Y'all told me to fast. Y'all told me to dream. Y'all told me to dance. Y'all told me to shout. Y'all told me to holler. Y'all told me to worship. Y'all told me to praise. And everything I'm doing, it ain't nothing changing. nothing happening as a matter of fact it's getting worse so if I'm going to do all this it ain't going to work but watch this but tell somebody oh he got a plan Cause see, lifeguards don't go out the folk that's still splashing in the water. 
Lifeguards only go out the folk when they go under. Jesus said, the reason why I ain't showed up is because your fight is still inside of you. You still splashing around and I ain't coming out there because you ain't drowning me and you. I'm going to wait until you ain't got no more fight inside of you. Then I'm going to show up. Look at your neighbor and say, I ain't got no more fight for real. I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm just going to... Yeah, I was fighting before for real. I was. I was fighting, trying to get myself out of this. But I realized I can't get myself out. So I ain't got no more fight, God. They only come out after you when you go down and don't come back up. God say, the way you go up is you got to go down. Okay, y'all ain't going to appreciate me. Y'all ain't going to appreciate me. Some of you still out there splash. Trying to make, trying to keep, keeping your head above water. Yeah, that's what y'all doing. And God say, okay, go right on ahead. When you finish, I'll be right here. Go right on ahead. That's right. Go try to get the loan. That's right. Go try to do this. That's right. Go try to do that. That's right. Go play the lottery. Go right on ahead. Go ahead and do whatever you think is going to work. Because I'm going to sit right here until you ain't got no more fight inside of you. That's right. Go ahead. Go to the psychic if you want to. Go to the soothsayers. Go run everybody church to try to get a prophecy. I'm going to sit right here until you ain't got no more fight. Y'all got too much fight in you. That's why he ain't showing up. You still trying to do it your way. You still trying to negotiate with God with the principles of how this goes to work. God said, no. Sit right there. Matter of fact, I'm going to take me a seat and chill. Because I know you. I created you. And you a hard-headed booger. So I'm going to sit right here until you, until you um, got all your hard-headedness out of you. And guess what? It might take 20 years. Because this ain't the first time Jesus passed through here. This ain't the first time in 12 years he passed through. This is just the first time she really decided to listen. See, this ain't the first time you heard this message before. This is just the first time some of y'all decided to listen. Because <laughs> you heard it before, but you still wanted to do your own thing. Nah, nah, I think I'm going to still go over here and do this right here. I think I'm going to still go over here and do this right there. And God said, that's fine. Go right on ahead. Do your thing. I'll be right here. As a matter of fact, let me go on over here and do what I got to do. I'll come back by through and see if you're ready again. But if you ain't ready, I'm just keep on moving. And so some of you keep been moving for a minute because you refuse to listen. The first thing that activates faith is your listening. Because faith cometh by sheer. No, they ain't going to talk to me. Look at somebody say, are you listening? God, my time is almost up. Y'all got it. Are you listening? The first thing that activated her faith was she heard. She heard that Jesus was coming by. Watch this. So she activated her faith by hearing. But that's not enough. Because y'all boogers done heard enough. Okay, y'all go preach. Y'all done got so much word that ain't nobody ever got to preach to you for the rest of your life. That's how much word is inside of you. The problem is, watch this, it's not just enough to hear it. But now she spoke it. You can't speak what you don't believe. You can't say what you don't trust. 
You cannot articulate what you don't understand. And so she heard it. It got into her spirit. And she said, if I can just touch. Notice now, she didn't ask to touch his head. <laughs> she didn't ask to touch his hand. Because if she could touch the head, the head was a sign of authority. And she says, I ain't ready for authority. If she touched his hand, the hand would have been for provision. And she was showing God, I'm not trying to get nothing from you. Oh, God have mercy. See, some of y'all are praising and worshiping God because you want something from him. Because you want his authority. And God saying you are a mess. And you are a bougie person. Because you think. That if you can get my authority. And my provision. It's going to make me work for you. But no baby. I'm really protecting you. Because if you ever touch the authority of me for real. You couldn't handle it. And the provision will cause you to get messed up. That's why I can't let you do it. That's why she said watch this. I don't need to start at the top if I can touch the bottom. You know you are able. You know that you've been changed when you ain't trying to get the mic. You know you changed when you ain't trying to be the center of attraction. Come here, young boy, father, just make me a servant in your house. And he said, no, you're my son, but I had to test your heart. When your heart is right, you may start at the bottom, but you won't stay there. She heard, uh-huh, she said, and she moved. Uh, she more heard, said, moved. Heard, said, moved. Heard, said, moved. Y'all ain't moving. Because movement is not something you do with your feet. Movement is what you do with your mind. Okay, God. God have mercy. She said, if I can touch. So she began to move, but she moved her mind first. Watch this. This is what I like. This is going to bless you. That's mine. She didn't come to him. Her feet. God said to tell you that whenever you've been arrested, they don't make you always stand. They will tell you to get down on your knees. And if you have not worked inside of any authority of that, the reason why they're telling you to get on your knees is because now you're in a place that you can't move. Okay, I'm about to mess the whole church up right now. I'm about to mess everybody up from the front to the back. That's why you don't get no change when you come to the altar because every time y'all come, y'all standing. And you quick to run away when God gives you direction. You quick to run away when God tries to tell you something. But if you will get on your knees. They tell you to put your hands behind your head. In other words, I'm surrendering my movement and I'm surrendering my authority. 
God have mercy. Because when now I have everything from you, now I can move you where I want to move you. See, God can't move some of you where he want to move you because you still standing and got your own authority. You still in control. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. You still in, you're still in, in the place where you think that it's working for you. You can do it the way you want to do it. And God say, no, I'm trying to show you in this season now. You need to get to a posture that let me do it. Okay, I'm moving. Y'all, y'all, y'all getting quiet on me now. So, because y'all, y'all, some people don't turn the channel. <laughs> but listen, so watch this. This is what I like. You got to catch this. Okay? She gets on her knees. She doesn't get on her knees when she got to him. She came to him on her knees. <laughs> oh, okay. See, see y'all want to y'all want to show false humility. Now false humility is the thing that you show in front of Jesus. But then when you get out of Jesus, then they get the real you. But if you really love God, you will stay on your knees. You will stay in a position to where you are not in authority. You will stay in a position where he controls everything. See, that's why the kingdom is important because if you understand the kingdom, the kingdom tells you you, you have everything but own nothing because you ain't in control. Okay. That's another text. That's another text. Okay. So, Apostle had to research this part. She said, not to him. Touched his heel. Jesus stops. He stops. 20 of you might catch this. This is the first time in scripture that Jesus was ever depleted. This was the first place in scripture that his anointing or his healing Drop below full. <laughs> she touched him so that she caused it to leave his body. Oh, no. oh my God. Can you imagine the power that that took? For her to get into a position to make something leave him. Everybody else, they got something from him, but they never took it from him. Oh God. She took the anointing from him. She took the healing from him because that's what she demanded. Oh God. Notice when you put a demand on God, you will empty him of something that he'll fill you with it. Oh, God. Okay. Notice the text, y'all. It's like Jesus had to stop and say, who? Who touched me? His brother Mike. The disciples now says, Lord, do you see all these people? That's strong in you? He said, Yeah. But watch this. This touch was different. Okay. I'm about to mess somebody up. Let me help you. You can be in the vicinity of God and touching him and still not get what you want because you don't even know you need it. 
Okay, y'all. All these people were touching him. They were thronging him. But nothing left his body. Because they thought they were good. They thought they were fine. They thought that they didn't need nothing. But this woman who came to him recognized, I need you. She recognized that what you have, I need. She recognized that you have my missing piece. She recognized that you have the element to change my life. She recognized that you got the stuff to cause my life to change. In other words, she recognized she was void. straight you don't even realize you void you don't realize you void of love you void of patience you void of, 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 of empathy sympathy love appreciation see y'all quiet now see y'all don't like this talk see y'all don't understand that Y'all think it's just about spiritual stuff. That wasn't a spiritual thing. Oh, God, y'all. He's not just here to, fear, to heal you spiritually. He wants to heal you naturally, emotionally, mentally. Y'all ain't catching this today. Y'all just want the spiritual things. Lord, make me anointed. Lord, give me your power. Lord, give me your presence. Yeah, he says I can give it to you. But the problem is the place that's housing it got holes. So it's not going to stay that long. You're hemorrhaging. Oh God. You're hemorrhaging my love. You're hemorrhaging my patience. You're hemorrhaging my loyalty. You're hemorrhaging my peace. You're hemorrhaging my joy. That's why you can run for a little bit and then feel like I ain't got nothing. Because you're hemorrhaging. The only way the blood was going to stay in the body was that the area that was broken gets healed. God, this is so good to me. You want the blood to cover, but the blood can't fill you. I yeah, know this, 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 ain't, this ain't the Baptist church down the street, the Methodist church, the Amy church, this ain't them. I'm going to give you a good hoop and holler another day. But today I'm trying to get you to understand that if you're going to activate your faith in this, you got to get yourself healed. This is the thing. Notice, and I can't even work out with this here. Dr. Kathy, go and study it for yourself. He goes, I'm going to bless you. Uh, Apostle, go study this. He said, your, your faith, watch this, has made you whole. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sister Katrina, that word was not just whole. That word was, it has just made me free. Oh, they catch it. I'm not just whole now. I'm free. <laughs> Maybe I'll say it over here. Maybe somebody will catch it. He said, your faith has not just made you whole as what you think. Your faith now has just freed you. It freed you from the circumstance that was on your life that kept you in this position. It freed you. Y'all ain't getting this thing today. It freed you from the things that was keeping you down and not allowing you to be everything that you wanted to be. Yes, I made you whole, but I also made you free. I ain't got nothing. It can't even come back to you if it want to because you're free. And whom the Son has set free is free. Tell somebody I'm free. I'm free from every addiction, every situation, every circumstance, every problem, everything that tries to knock me down. Yeah. 
I'm free with liberty. Freedom is the ability to do what you want to do. Liberty says I stay confined to what he wants me to do. I'll say it again just in case you didn't catch it. Freedom says I can do what I want to do. I'm free. I don't, I'm not bound by anything. But liberty says now I'm only confined to what he wants me to do. When God freed her, watch what he tells her. Can you go to the 34th verse for me, please? Y'all got to catch it. Y'all got to catch it. Listen to what he says. He puts parameters around her. Oh, this, y'all, can, can, look at this. He said, your faith has made you free. Now, I'm telling you your boundaries. Oh, God, y'all, y'all, they catching this. I'm freed you, but I'm giving you liberty now. Your liberty is to go in peace. That means ain't nothing else can come into your boundaries other than peace, y'all. Oh, God, go in peace and watch this. And now, y'all, see, y'all didn't understand, understand the text because if he already healed her, why he's telling her and be healed? Because healing didn't come yet. She had to get free to get healed. Y'all ain't catching this thing. Y'all trying to get healed before you get whole. But God said, no, I got to free you of a mindset. I got to free you of a thought process. I got to free you of your own issues before I can heal you. I need you free so you can get healed. We do it the other way. We want to be healed, but you ain't free. You cannot receive healing until you're free in your mind. <laughs> the parameters are you will always be in peace now. And you will be healed. I am so grateful he didn't say healing will come. Because that meant it ain't here yet. He said, and be healed. That means it's already sealed. That means it, it cannot, nothing else is going to change it. You are healed. Watch this of your disease. Your disease was the issue that kept you from walking into the promise of God. And the disease is not always something that's in your body. It can be on your body. God have mercy. And when you don't understand how to be free to be healed, you will not be healed of your disease and therefore the disease will always come back in an unhealed place which will deserve your peace, which will not eradicate your wholeness. You won't be free no more. Am I talking to anybody today? You cannot be healed if you ain't freed. And can I tell you what freed you? He did. When you accepted him as Lord and Savior, he freed you. He caused every issue that was upon your life, in your life, coming to your life, will go through your life to no longer have any possibility of staying there. That's why he tells us, whom the Son, 
sets free is what? It's free indeed. He can't go back. He cannot go back. If Jesus hadn't freed you, he ain't God. So the question is, because he ain't, because he's God. So the question is, did you listen? Did you speak? And did you move? One of the things out of the equation was going to make the equation wrong. Two things out of the equation is still going to make the equation wrong. Because there's three steps to this. There are three steps. Your faith, your faith is what frees you. When you can't walk in faith, you can't walk in freedom. That's why you always be susceptible to the enemy and to his devices. You will never walk in the promises of God if you ain't free. Therefore now, there's no condemnation. That's bondage to them that walk upright before him. Y'all hear me? So if you are walking upright before him, why are you letting condemnation sit in? Because you're religious. Because they taught you to feel sorry till you get it better. Okay, y'all, y'all, see y'all... You ought to be sorry for it. I am sorry for it. It's just I ain't just walking around in a pity party. Come on, am I talking to anybody today? I, I, I don't have to walk in church with my head hung down every time. I don't have to walk in church acting like I'm less than every time. No, baby, I'm the righteous seed of God. Yes, I jacked up. Yes, I messed up. But I got a God who forgave me. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Mark says, I don't need him to forgive me because he already forgave me before I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't gonna preach with me in here. See, that's why y'all in trouble because y'all trying to work on salvation and salvation is already freely gave to you. All you got to do is receive it. Yeah. Just accept the fact, yes, I jacked up last night, but you already knew, but I'm just letting you know it anyway just because I to get it off my chest. Y'all, 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 y'all. Okay, this, see this, this is, this is, this systematic theology, I can't touch it because, because when you understand it, you, you really understand. You better know how to hold things tight and loose at the same time. You better know how to do it. Because if you hold too stringent, you will never see it. If you hold it too loose, you never get it. See, that's why I don't play with this because you don't know what happens between the time somebody left your life and the time you see them again, what God did in between there. And you still in judgment. And you don't know whether the Lord dealt with them in the process. Before they got back to your ratchet life. And now you're looking at them crazy when they got themselves straight. But now you're still holding them to your path, to their past. But then you get mad at other folk and they hold you to your past. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. That, that's why you got to operate in faith and let faith be your guide. And have a discerning spirit to know how to deal with everything. And understand that even in the freedom that God gave me, I still got to deal in the liberty in which he gave me. That means I can't deal with you the way I want to deal with you. I got to deal with you according to the spirit and according to God. Hey, I don't care what you do to me. As I told somebody this week, it ain't about what somebody does to you. It's about what you do to them. And if you're going to activate your faith for real, you better get out of this religious doctrinal mindset that you have and understand that all your righteousness is still as filthy rags. I don't care how holy you think you are, baby. There's a skeleton in your closet. 
y'all ain't gonna talk to me there's some bones in your closet that if they ever came together folk would see that you ain't all that in a bag of chips but thanks be unto God who covers me and keeps me that's why I don't hold other folk to that because I recognize it could have been me could have been the one but he didn't let it be but I thank you for that but I don't kill you what I do is I pray for you because the Bible says that he who is spiritual should restore such a one I'm tired of the church being so non-spiritual and we talking about everybody and we talking about what they do baby know how to pray for folk know how to intercede for people know how to stand in the gap and let God work it out stop putting your mouth on stuff you don't know I'm sorry I don't know where that came from look at your neighbor say neighbor you better be careful I might be the one that need to pray you out some stuff but your mouth on me you don't understand I'm anointed I just don't look like it all the time but I do love God I know I want to smoke I want to drink I want to cuss I want to act up but there's still a God in my heart that loves me and I know hey I love him I may not do everything right but I know how not to go too far you See this? See, people don't like that because they think you're giving people excuses to sin. No, baby. I'm giving people a, a place to grow. Because <laughs> people got to understand their own way. Nobody could have done this for this woman but her. Nobody else. I don't care. Watch this. They could have took her and said, no, you coming to Jesus right now. Get yourself over here and you go there and you touch him. Watch this. She would have touched him and she would have walked back with the same issue. Because somebody made her. Even Jesus didn't make her. He just said, I'm coming. Now the question is what you going to do? See, stop trying to make people and just give people a place to grow. Give them the word, one plant, one water, but it's God that gives the increase. But see, your problem is, is you want to get the accolades. That's why some folk in your life still in their mess, because you're the one that's blocking them with your holy self. Because you're trying to say, see, I was the one that brought them to Christ. See, I was the one that helped them to get delivered. No, God said, no, you, you got a problem. I'm sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. For real, I, I ain't mean to go there. But when you understand this gift, when you understand activating your faith, man, I don't care what, what happens. Nobody, watch this, just like nobody can make you, nobody can stop you. When you make up your mind to really do for God, I don't care what happens. I don't care if the, if the tire got flat on the way coming to church. You're going to find a way. You're going to call, hey, sister, can you come get me? I'll leave the car on the side of the road. I'll deal with it when I get back. But I got to get to the house of the Lord. See, when you really got God in your heart, you won't let petty stuff stop you. I can't come to church tonight because I got a headache. No, you know how to lay hands on your own head and say, where they, are you going to either stop or you going to the house and get delivered. But I'm not staying home tonight because I need God to do something for me. See, when and you really got to go get it for God. Ain't nothing going to stop you from getting to where the presence of the Lord is. Touch your neighbor for the last time and say, neighbor, I'm not letting nothing separate me from the love of God. Not let nothing. Not let anything. Stand to your feet. I'm done. I'm done. 
See, y'all, you got to get to that place right there. You got to get to the whatever it takes. You got to get to the whatever it takes. I'm all in. You may not got it all right, but I'm all in. We got it. We had a saying on the court, go big or go home. Either you're going to man up or you're not. You got to know how to go in and get what you need to do. If you are not in a posture, if you don't see that, if you don't recognize it, you will never walk in the freedom that God has for you. You will never. I don't care how much I preach. I don't care how much Cole preaches. I don't care how much we lay hands. I don't care how much we prophesy. Unless you make up in your mind to hear, say, and be, it ain't not going to happen. And watch this. And don't you walk out of here talking about this church ain't got nothing. I am. Because it ain't my fault that you didn't get what you need to get while you were here. It is not my responsibility to get you to Jesus. Thank you. My job is to preach. Your job is to go. I mean, it just didn't feel me. It didn't touch me. That's because you didn't want to be touched. I mean, that was just, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. No, it, you wasn't for it. I know. That's why you got you to gotta know where you are. When you activate your faith and you really do what God says do, let me tell you something. The sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. You can say then to the mountain, be thou cast into yonder sea and it shall be when you really say, when you really hear say and be you can now call those things cuz notice y'all before she touched she said you got to speak it out your mouth Today I'm going to find a place. Today I'm going to get this. Today it's going to be mine. And watch this. If it don't show up today, it don't mean it's not yours. It just means it's not the time. Because if you not be weary in well-doing, in what? In what? In what? That means the due season is when he ready for it to happen. You shall reap if you faint not. Anybody receive this word today? Listen, I'm going to make one, one, one ploy. If you say to me today, say, Pastor, you know, I heard this word. I listened to this word. I heard what you said. And I found myself that I'm not in the right position with God. And today I want to be in right position with God. Let me share with you, being in right position with God don't mean that tomorrow everything's going to look right, be right, sound right, think right. Not going to happen. It could. Not very likely all the time. Because you have to go through some things. What do you say, Pastor? You know, I want to give my heart to the Lord today. Like for real, for real. Go play no fluff. I want to really give him my, I want, to, I want him to give me my life. My daughter taught me a word yesterday. She said, get out my bubble. You know, because I was all, I was all up in her face. She was joking. We were joking. She was like, get out my bubble, daddy. Yeah, it means your space. So if you want God now to come in your bubble. <laughs> I'm in your space. See, you got to sometimes break it down for them they can understand it because they don't, you know, these vernaculars are different. But if you say, I want God in my space now, that's where I want him. Every eye is closed. Nobody's paying attention. I don't want you to be looking at nobody. But if you say, Lord, that's me. I want to give my, I want to give you my life today. I want you to lift your hands high. 
I see those hands. I see those hands. Can y'all worship right there? Keep those hands raised. Who, who that hand they had? But I want you to worship right there. Worship, worship, worship. Worship, worship. Worship. Dr. Kathy, can you come here, please? Worship. 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 Come on, just worship for a moment, y'all. Ain't nobody paying attention. Nobody's listening. Nobody's watching. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Eyes are still closed. Nobody's paying attention. Those with those hands are raised. I want you to come to this altar right fast. Come to this altar. Nobody's nobody's paying attention. Nobody. This is not your, none of your business. This is not your business. Just right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Come to come to one of them. Go to one of them. Come to one of them. Go to go to one. Of them. Come on. Your own. I want. Just stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Your own. I will me know you are near. That's what I want. Help me know you are near. Oh, oh. You're all I want. Come on, y'all worshiping, y'all worshiping, y'all worshiping. You're all I ever need. You're all know you are near. Help me know you are near. Help me know you are near. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, y'all should be worshiping. This is your time to worship. If you got him, you're all ever. You're all I ever need. some worship. You're all I ever need. You're all I've ever need. And you're all I want. You're all I want. Help me know you are. Help me know you are near, Lord. Help me. Help me know you are Come on, one more time in this place. grateful that he's here. You're all I ever need. You're all I ever need. You're all I want. You're all I want. Help me know you are. Help me know 
know you are near. Help me know you are near. Does anybody believe it all? That you're all I ever need. You're all if you need some healing, if you need anything, you can come to this altar. You're all I want. You're all I want. Help, help me know you are. Help me know you are near. Boys, they say, oh, 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 you're all, and I'm so grateful, God, that you're all I ever need. Yes, you are, yes, you are. You are near yeah. Help me know you are near Cause we cry all oh, 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 oh. And I'm so grateful That you're all I ever need Yes you are Jesus, I worship and come on, just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anybody. Believe it, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell, Just wanna tell you, Lord, I love, Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on in this place. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you. so good I want to say I love you Jesus I love you I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you I love you Jesus I love you with an everlasting love I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you I love you, Jesus. 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 I worship and adore you. I worship and adore you. Just wanna tell you. Open up your mouth and say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love. Lord, I love you. More than. More than anything. I know we got to go home. But is it ain't anybody there that say, I love you, Jesus. I love you. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love. Lord, I love. More than. More than anything. Cause you've been so good. And you've been.
been so kind. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. Just want to tell, want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. So we sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, if you Worship it right there. Come on, just worship, worship. This is holy This is holy ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. So come. So come and Today, Father, we honor your presence. We bless you today for your goodness and your mercy. This is a busy week, but I'm asking everyone to please be here. We have Bible study on Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Please be here as we have guests that will be coming into our house. I want you to be here that we can lift up the name of the Lord, that his glory will be with us. Can you grab a neighbor by the hand? Just say, neighbor, the presence of the Lord 
shall be with you all week long and the provision that you will need will show up trust him and he will make it good father i thank you i bless you for these people today keep us as we leave this place but never your presence and we always give your name the glory and the honor in jesus name we bless you we bless you in jesus name in jesus name grace and peace when you can't just hug somebody and tell them i love you you can't do anything about it you know?